What's going on guys? X Shot X here, and we're back again with our seventh subscriber of the week. Um, just a heads up now, I am probably going to have to go to sleep because I started a little late with the sun, but that's because I'm running low on time, and I just need to get these outros recorded. So, winner this week is squared underscore kid, and the question last week was, what did you do for Halloween? Like, what did you dress up as, all that stuff? And his answer was, I believe, a clown in a robe, and he went around and he scared kids. And I can relate to that because I have a pretty funny story one Halloween when I went and did that exact same thing. So, it was, I believe, either 8th grade for me or early on in high school. Uh, I was with my cousin uh, named Mitchell. He's kind of a part of NTP. Kind of. He doesn't really do a lot. But we still kind of think of him as a member. And uh, he does this haunted porch thing. It's kind of like a thing where they just go, you know, scare kids and all that. But, um... I went to go work with him. I went out of town to get my mask. It was a two-headed clown mask uh, that I found. I think it was like a dollar or something. Maybe it wasn't even a dollar tree. Maybe it was a dollar tree. I don't even know. But um came back, two-headed clown mask, covered my entire face. People even had a hard time figuring out where my eyes were. And um had the whole clown suit, everything. I had a butcher's knife. And me and him were like gatekeepers. And it was getting late. It was, you know, end of the night, really, and there wasn't really traffic. So this van kind of pulled up, and they stopped in the middle of the road. And I guess maybe family got out to go and talk. Um, and so they're like these little kids. And they came up, and they saw me and him. And since we were like the gatekeepers, you know, we were standing right there to, like, let people in. They saw us, and they ran away. So we're like, all right, let's go. Let's go scare these kids. So we snuck up to the van. We were crouching down. He went on the side that didn't have the door open. I was on the side that did. And so he started banging on the window and screaming. They're like, ah, and they started freaking out. And I just come in the door. I start waving my butcher's knife at them. They're freaking out. They're, then I realize there's a baby in the backseat. It starts screaming and, like, shaking violently and crying. So I kind of gave a baby a seizure that night. Um, so I kind of feel bad about that, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sure the kid's okay. I hope he is. Um, it was a really fun night. I got pictures of people, everyone loved me, because I had, like, a really cool mask, and everyone's like, oh, come scare my friend, clown, and, yeah, my friend's scared of clowns, and I just walk at them, and they're like, oh, I hate you all, and then they'd run away. So, that was my Halloween. Um, so, yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed Halloween. I know it's kind of over. It's Veterans Day, actually, right now that I'm recording this. So, yay. Hope everyone, you know, thanks a veteran. So, um, question this week is, uh, what's the worst you've ever gotten hurt? It was kind of a random one I thought of, um, like, uh, broken bones or anything like that. Funny stories about how you got hurt. Um, but just, like, what's the worst that you, uh, ever got hurt? I got a couple stories. This is, like, an example. Uh, like, one kind of short one. I was three, and I fell off a counter, and I broke my collarbone. It's kind of a simple one, but, yeah. I fell off a counter, and I broke my collarbone. Um, another one is, uh... It was when I was younger, we were building our house, because we built our house. Um, we didn't just, like, you know, find one that was open. Um, we had a big field, had it all built and stuff, and I was, it was when I was really little. So, um, yeah. And, uh, there were tools lying around and stuff, we were sitting in the garage, and I was stabbing at this box, like this cardboard box for whatever reason, uh, with this tool I'd found, and I later found out it was a wood chipper, and if you don't know what a wood chipper is, well, it kind of does what its name, what its name implies, it like, it's a, got a really sharp, uh, edge, and it's, oh, look, there's a chicken, hi chicken, um, it, it's really sharp, and it's meant to, you know, obviously slice wood, and I was stabbing at a box with this, and I'm sitting cross-legged Indian style, and I bring this thing up, to smash it down into the box as hard as I can, and I stab it right in my foot, because I closed my eyes to do it. I went, ah, right in my foot. And I hit my foot right there. If you feel your foot, that bone right there that's kind of round, like that joint, I hit right below that. And, oh, it hurt so bad. I ended up going to the emergency room. I refused to get stitches, because I hated, like, needles and threads then. Um, still kind of do. I don't like needles. Um, so they used, like, this glue stuff, and they glued up the wound, so it was really weird, but it hurt really badly, and it was funny that I, uh, ended up going to the emergency room because I stabbed myself in the foot. Um, so, yep, leave your answers to that question in the comments, and your username for, your, uh, PC on Minecraft, PC Minecraft, just, yeah, spell it right, all that good stuff, you know, and, uh, 
If you like your comment the best, we will make you. So, if you want to stay, I'm going to do a tutorial on this guy. If not, um, then I'll see you guys for the next one. So, alright, I'm just going to jump into this here. Um, I'm going to go into the, the, into the dimensions really quickly because I am very short on time. I actually have YouTuber week to record right after this. So, yeah, it's coming out tomorrow if I got the time to do everything and homework with college and stuff. So, yeah. The legs... Whew, sorry, I breathe in my mic really hard there. Uh, the legs are 8x4x12. By by um, the torso, exact same thing, 8x4x12. By by the arms are attached to the torso, and they're 4x4x12. Four by four by and the head is 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. And it has a hat effect, uh, it's just the hood here, it comes out one more in the front. And those dimensions are length by width by height. So all that stuff's in the description, if you've uh, been to the channel for a while. So, alright, I'll just get into the details here. Again, it's going to fade back and forth between this and the regular texture pack. So if you don't have any texture packs, you'll know exactly what you're looking at. So, this, uh, his feet are obviously all black, uh, pants are gray... There's some white there, going up the coat, kind of. And the extra detailing there is stone. So, get over here. I'm not going to be as as uh, slow as I was before. I think I got plenty of time to do it, so. Um, same thing, really. Pants gray. It's all black. Got a little white dot there. Um, and more stone and black for his coat that he has. We got the back of the pants here, and well, back of the pants and shoes and stuff and all that. So uh, all gray, really. A little bit of black on the shoes, and still more stone. Same colors, nothing's really changed here. Skin had some interesting detailing on it. it had a lot of like spots all over the place. So other side, um, you can actually flip this to the other side of the leg, so you don't really need to look at this, but same colors, black, white, little white dot, gray, stone, all that good stuff. So, alright. And now for the front, very detailed, lots of spots and things everywhere. The gloves are white and they have light gray detailing inside of them, and the black coat, uh, well he has a red shirt and it goes all the way up, and then the white kind of goes all the way up, and then there's black and gray and stone spots all over the place, and then his skin is birch, I believe. So, lots and lots of spots there. And this one's a little hard to see. I don't even know if you guys can really see in there. I'll actually get a little bit closer. You're going to see a faded, uh, further out picture for the non-plastic, but right here in the glove is a little bit of red, more light gray there. Gray and black right there. And right here is a stone and gray. Right to there. So this is going to be a hard shot, so I'm going to do two kind of slanted ones uh, for the back of the shirt. The back of the gloves are entirely white, so that's fun. That's easy. Uh, and he's got uh, 11 on the back of his uh, coat. Um, I think Lucky said he believed it was like Area 11 or something like that. And uh, we got more... Gray and stone. I think there's I think there's light gray in there, but it's really it's actually hard to tell in this texture pack. Um I don't think so though. I think it's all stone, pretty sure. If there's light gray in there then you should be able to tell on the uh other texture pack. Alright, here's this side of the arm. Um if you're confused about this, you could literally mirror this to the other side if you couldn't really see it on my other shot, so same colors, red and white and light gray in the glove, and then on the shoulder, rest of it, it's black, gray, and then a little bit of stone there, stone dot. So, moving on to the face, or the front of the hood and all that. Um, face made out of birch, um, black glasses, blue eyes, um, there's light gray going around kind of the trim of the hood. He's got a little brown dot there where he's got some hair hanging down. And uh, the top of the hood is gray, and that detailing is stone, and the rest of it's just black. So, other side, we have it's all black, and some stone and light gray detailing. 
I kind of put the light gray detailing in it because he had some weirder grays that I had to work with on this one. So, kind of specks everywhere, but still looks good. Back of the head, all black, gray, and then I believe that's one stone dot again. Some of this was really easy to do and some of it was really hard. So, okay, other side of the head, not the same as the uh, other side, so it's two different sides. Um, different pattern on this side too, so it's a black with light gray and, st or just, yeah, light gray right there in the front though, but that's the trim, so you should be able to see that. Uh, stone, gray, all the same colors. Alright, the top, a little wicked. Not too bad though. Exact same colors as I've been saying for the past couple minutes. Black, gray, and stone. And I think light gray is speckled in there somewhere. Probably. Stone and light gray are very hard to tell apart in this texture pack. I am not kidding. I have not gotten completely used to seeing those like that. I like seeing the blocks though. You know, like the grids here. It's really easy to see. But, alright. So that's it for this one, you guys. Um, if you stayed that long, you want to make his skin, you should do it. Pretty cool skin. Nice addition to the uh, rest of them, though. We're just glad that we don't have one that's blue. We got so many blue guys right here. Jesus. Like, blue, blue, blue. And then she's kind of blue over there. We got we had one red dude, then it was like, okay, yellow, black and gray, sorcerer dude. So, um, nice additions. So answer that question again. It's, what is the hardest you've ever gotten hurt? You know, stories, broken bones, all that stuff. How'd you get hurt? Funny stuff, all that. Leave in the comments with your in-game name, spelled correctly. Obviously, you know how to spell correctly, because you made it. Um, and we will make your skin. We, Whoever we like the best, comments, all that good stuff. Yep. So, alright guys, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck next week. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.